TAVR stands for transcatheter aortic valve replacement. And it's a technique whereby a balloon expandable valve can be delivered in a percutaneous uh, fashion through the groin or through the apex uh, of, the, of the heart and delivered in a way that replaces the aortic valve without having full open heart surgery. Aortic valve replacement in general is a very, very common procedure in the U.S. However, there is a very large population size um, that still does not qualify for surgery because of prohibitive risk. And that's the population that we target for this transcatheter procedure. And we feel that doing it with catheter, the minimal invasive approach, the risk would be smaller. And so um, that would be the preferable therapy in those patients. The number one benefit is avoiding uh, open heart surgery and the chest incision and the sternal incision that is required for that approach. It is a uh, generally a quicker operation, a shorter length of stay in the hospital, and a quicker recovery at home as well. Uh, most patients will be in the hospital for uh, two to four days after the procedure and then go home, but they go home in good shape right away. Rather than having to overcome the discomfort of a chest incision, uh, right away they're functional. This is a procedure that is done uh, with a heart team. I think it's very important to uh, include um, various specialties, uh, which we have done. The specialties involved are heart surgery as well as interventional cardiology, but then we also have other experts that are specializing in echocardiography, which is imaging of the heart, vascular surgeons, uh, radiologists, so it's really a large team because it's a complex procedure, so we need the expertise for multiple specialties. I'm very excited that we finally can offer this procedure in, in Suffolk County, um, and I'm happy to be part of the team and I think that would really make a difference in the lives of many, many people, um, not just prolonging life, but really increasing the quality of life of many patients.